Hi guys, this is Soro. In this video, we are going to create an app where we will send the data from our MIT App Inventor app to Google Sheet. First, we see the example here. So here you can see that's the app here, okay? And that's my Google Sheet here, right? So here you can see name and location, okay? So I'm going to put my name here, okay? Just simple, I'm going to put my name and now my location, support USA and just click on send data okay and now go to the seed wait some seconds you will see Saurabh and USA now I'm going to put another uh, data here so just suppose I had it and the location is Delhi okay just click on send data and go to the seed you will see here Harry Delhi okay so in this video we will learn how to send data from MIT App Inventor app to Google Sheet okay so here we go we need to click on the start new project and that's the project name uh, I'm just seed data that's my app name and click on ok now here we need to simple drag and drop two things first one is layout okay uh, we have to design our app here first so we will use your table arrangement okay and make this one is high display parent uh, at least with display parent like this okay and now here uh, you will see here two column and two rows fine so we need here one label like this and one text box see like this yeah and the another one is also label and another one is also second text box like this and make this table arrangement hide is also fit parent okay and fine now here we need to change the label name so i'm going to make it here name and make this one at least 18 and make it font bold click on label 2 and make this one is location like this and make it font bold and make this font size at least 18 it's looking fine right now we have to change the screen color so i'm going to make this screen color something uh background color is I'm going to make it orange like this fine and you will see here horizontal align arrangement so I'm going to make it center and this one is also center fine now so we need to click on table arrangement and make this high is automatic okay and drag and drop here one button like this fine and change this text send data okay and make this one 18 make this background color something pink fine so that's the design here now we have to drag and drop one more thing that one is you will see here connectivity option and use here web just drag and drop this one okay this one is non visual component fine now we need to go to the block section here and here whenever someone click on the button button one so we have to send this data name or location to our google seat okay so what we will do just click on the web and here we need to call post text you will see the call web dot post text like this now we have to call here one more thing that one is text like this and use here we are going to use here join okay but make sure we have to use one more thing because we have to send the data so where we are going to send the data so we have to connect the google seat to this web okay so how we will do so how we can do this you will see here the set dot web url like this set web dot url and make it here and click on text and just drag and drop this blank we will put here our google seat link here okay now we have to send this data so how we can do this so we have to use more strings here for at least four we have two type of data it means two data like one is name and location so we have to define where, which text we are where we have to save okay where we have to send so here i'm going to use first one is a uh, name so just copy and paste this one like this and type here num 
or you can type your name like name and equal okay and we are, uh, we are going to save the name data and from which text box text box one text box one dot text is going to be saved in the name and another one is location so just type here location like this and here we need to just type here t and percent and sign okay fine now and you have to use your equal sign also fine now location is from we have to save the location from text box to simple now go to the google drive now i'm going to open my drive here okay that's my drive now we are going to click on new and here we need to use here google sheet click on it now uh, what we have saved in the this one you will see name and location okay so i'm just typing here name and location okay fine now what we will do so this name will save here and the location will save in second column now uh, we have to do one more thing we are i'm to see this seat name my seat okay and this that one is seat one you will see here seat one okay fine now what we will do we are going to use here one more thing go to the google drive and click on new and click on more option and you will see here google app script if you are not able to find it uh, in here so click on connect more app and just type here just type here app script you will see google app script just click on it fine and you need to just install this one okay and after this you will get this one here click on new and you will see a more option and you will see google app script just open this google app script here now just dismiss this one error now uh, we are going to type a project name here so that my project name is sand data okay and just click on okay and we have to write some code here so i will give you the code for that you will find it in a description okay so you need to download this code so i'm going to open this code in my that one is my in a download folder this one code i'm just going to copy this code and paste here like this now go to the seat okay and in that my seat over here now copy this url okay and go to the send data and we have to paste our seat url here okay you have to paste your on seat url here okay and that one is seat name okay so where we, uh, you will see here seat one so just right click on it and you will see a rename okay and then copy this seat name and go to the uh, send data and you will see here just paste this code here like this do it again just copy this url again go to the data and you just need to copy this replace this url okay from your seat and that one is seat one also fine now you will see here the code uh, i'm not going to explain your code but yeah it's very pretty simple that you will see name or location and we just pass the parameter here okay you just need to understand this code okay you can uh, just copy and paste this code simple okay now we need to publish this code okay just click on publish deploy as a web app and wait some second you will see here the uh, ex uh, execute the as app as like this and who will access anyone anyone can access and just click on deploy and wait some seconds you will see review permission click on this and click on your gmail account okay and you will see this error wait and you can see here advance option just click on this advance option and go to send data unsafe go here okay and click on allow fine and just click on okay wait uh, don't click on okay just copy this first url and click on okay 
now we have to paste that one url here this one simple now we are going to run this app and let's see how it works i'm going to run it emulator so that's the app here now i'm going to put my name here okay and my location usa and just click on send data okay now go to received where is it you will see oh, uh, i just clicked two times that's why here two times so just uh, i'm going to type another see like uh, if i just type here another name and this one is suppose sngm sangam and that location is delhi and click on send data and go to the seat you will see sangam delhi fine so that's very easy way to connect your MIT App Inventor app to Google Sheet. You can send, you can get the lot of data from your app to the Sheet. Fine. If you have any doubt, you can ask me on comment. Subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.